Howdy all of you delicious people, I'm here today to view Afflicted. So, this is a found footage uh, superhero horror movie. So, to me this movie kind of remind me, reminded me of uh, Chronicles. If you guys remember, like the, the three guys went on to uh, find this meteor and they ended up touching it, whatever. And they ended up getting powers from it. And we had the one kid who was to have this camera consisting with him. Trying to document all of the things that they went through. And then come to find out. Uh, we had one of the kids who ended up turning evil. And was to try to kill off all the other guys who at some point had gotten powers. And so that ends up rolling out that movie the way it ends up rolling out. So... Teeing it up for this film, Afflicted, we have Derek and we have Cliff who are to want to go on and travel the world because it seems that Derek is to have this, uh, this problem with his brain that may lead to Derek possibly dying. And so Derek wants to go on and travel the world before he may die. And so Cliff is to go along with him, being like friends since they were really young and so on and so forth. So we have these two characters who at some point are the, to travel the other side of the world and are to go into this bar and come to find out Derek is hoping he's going to get lucky, but he's going to get the wrong kind of lucky. As Derek is to go on to get a woman into his uh, his hotel room and come to find out she ends up knocking him out. Having Cliff waking up Derek, having him realize that he is injured, and Derek is to go on and clean up his wounds, but after it seems that he starts to clean up his wounds, he realizes that he is to all of a sudden have these unusual things wrong with him but then those unusual things then start to lead to Derek having superpowers and then Derek is to test all these powers test all these abilities and then at some point we start to find out what Derek is really afflicted with, which then leads Derek to go on to at some point be chased down by police, having Derek now desperately hoping to make his way back to the person who was to go on and do him in in the first place, to give him these superpowers, to have Derek chase this woman down and hope that there may be some cure, some solution, some way back from this, and that of that is to have been the way to have tried to resolve this film. So and I'll, I'll get into more on this when we get into spoilers. So, currently this movie is available on Paramount+, Plus, but I will go on and also recommend people going to a Google Play Store and searching the word Doxy, D-O-X-C-Y. And hopefully you should be able to go on and find Afflicted uh, via this app. If not, you can go on to any new release uh, movies that I've currently talked about, and you'll find a list of a number of apps that I've used over time here, and uh, you'll go on to find out that uh, there's a number of different apps you can also find uh, a movie for absolutely free. So, what is the grading of this film, and how did I feel about it? So, 
I honestly have gone on and seen a number of different like found footage kind of movies. Like you, of course, have like Blair Blair Witch Project as being like a horror found footage thing. You also have um, like Chronicle, like I just said, as another one. So I would have to go on and say that regardless of Afflicted being a found footage movie, I honestly feel that Afflicted is sloppy. Uh, I feel that there is quite a bit of time where I would go on and question, it's like, what am I seeing here? Or uh, there are certain times where I'm like, why is it that we can't really see anything in this film? And I would just be like, okay, like this is kind of like the really small budget of... Uh, of a found footage thing. Um, plus also there was a lot of times where I would just go on and say, it's like, well, like, you know what? If we only had two people really filming this movie or, uh, it seems that, uh, like one person had somehow like gone on to not being in the film then you could have really just had that person be a cameraman. You kind of could have broken away from the whole found footage thing to then try and not have this movie be completely found footage. You could have gone on and do, done something else. Uh, but that is kind of the, the negative. The positive is like there is some cool things that they do do for like powers in here to kind of showcase and uh and i thought that that was cool but yeah Whew. excuse me excuse me so with that said uh like i honestly do have a problem uh like grading this one I would probably say that Afflicted is interesting. I think people are going to have a wide uh, variety of opinions of this film. Some people may go on and like this movie, or some people may just say, like, no, this movie's garbage. Uh, I would go on and just say that this movie is interesting. Um, I don't know if I would go on and possibly recommend this movie to somebody, uh, but, uh, like, I think it would have to be just something that it's like, well, if this fits you, like, if you like this kind of stuff, like found footage or likes, like, a superhero kind of film, then this movie may be for you. Uh, so, or a horror film, then you'll probably like that also. So, uh, oh, uh, Quarantine. Quarantine is kind of technically a found footage thing uh, because we have like a cameraman uh, kind of movie. So that's technically like it's technically a found footage. But anyways, so. And it's a horror film anyways, so let's let's just go on and let's go into double time territory because there's only a hour and 25 minutes of this film. So it's going to spoil time, spoil time. It's about the time we begin to spoil this movie so in the very beginning of this film we are to showcase uh both derek and both cliff going to this party mentioning that they are going to make uh this trip around the world so come to find out both cliff and derek have been friends for a very long time uh since they were young kids and so we have these two characters deciding uh, to go off because Derek has been this IT guy. And at some point he is to realize like, well, hey, what am I doing with my life? And so. Plus, uh, Derek was to start to get headaches and Derek was to possibly think that it was job related. But then, oh, no, uh, Derek would go on and go to the doctor and come to find out 
he had arterio venous uh, malformation, which is something to do with the brain, where at some point, uh, like you have a brain aneurysm, where uh, there's going to be a building of a point where uh, if you cannot go on and write something, uh, like you may go on and possibly die. So you're going to have to get rushed to the hospital, hoping that uh, they are to possibly fix what is to go wrong with Derek before he is to die. But more than likely, Derek is to probably just die from this illness. So... Derek is to realize that life is short, and so he is going to go on and travel the world with his best friend. And Cliff, of course, to be documenting this whole thing because he's a documenter anyways. So, we have Derek's brother, who I believe is Jason, who is to tell Derek that maybe it's a mistake for him to go on and travel right now. Because Jason is to tell Derek that what happens if Derek is to have some brain problem and he needs to be rushed to the hospital and he's in the middle of nowhere or is to at some point possibly uh, like have like the worst possible thing happen where Derek is to get lost somewhere and so forth and and like so many excuses and so Derek is to go on and say like well yeah like that like may be awful and all but I'm gonna take my chances we even have this doctor that is going on and telling Derek that he should not be traveling and Derek is like oh well like I'm gonna go on and do this anyways so Derek and Cliff make their way to uh, to overseas, and the very first place that they are at is Barcelona, Spain, and the first, uh, tourist site that they end up going and seeing is the Christopher Columbus statue. So, we have Derek, and we have, uh, Cliff here, go on and meet with these band members who are to be in this band called Unalaska. We have a guy named Zachary and a guy named uh, Edo. And so, come to find out, we had Cliff who was to set up this kind of rig uh, for these kind of camera shots and so a lot of the guys were kind of impressed about how unusual like they were kind of shooting these cameras and you can do it as like third person or you can do it as like first person and because they would attach this camera to uh to this guy's chest and they figured that out so we had the guys from Unalaska and and Cliff and Derek go into this like go car and we have uh, the kind of the band members kind of making fun of Derek and Cliff of like yeah you guys are gonna get so many ladies by uh, driving around in this. So. We have all four of these guys make their way to Paris, France on day seven. So this, of course, is where it seems that things are to change for Derek's character as Derek is to go on into this bar uh where, of course, we have the Unalaskans who are performing. And so the guys are to go on before uh, the band members, before they go on onto their gig. They 
end up having Derek like be given some condoms because they're thinking that it's like, hey man, like I have faith in you that you're gonna go on and get some girl at this bar and you're gonna take her like uh like you're gonna take her off and get laid. So how about I go on and give you some condoms and like because they're French, like they'll they'll be the best. So we have Derek go to the bar and it seems that he is at the bar and he is striking out. And so Derek seems tempted to just leave the bar and Cliff is like, wait a minute, like, what are you doing? Like, you left the bar. And Derek is just like, yeah, like, things aren't working. And Cliff is just like, well, like, what have you been talking to them the whole time about? Like, you've been probably talking about them, about you, like, being a tourist and you, like, being in all these places. And Derek is like, yeah, you're right. And so Cliff is telling Derek, it's like, well, you should open up to people and just say that you have a brain aneurysm and then you're going to die soon. So, like, you might as well get laid with this girl, right? So, Derek then goes on and is to meet a girl named Audrey. And we have Cliff, who is to get this camera footage. And Derek's like, hey, man, like, kind of, uh, kind of get some distance. Like, I don't, like, I don't know you. <laughs> like, just trying to play off that he's, like, not trying to, um, like, work this girl. So, Derek goes on to take this girl to his place. And so, after the Unalaskans, or the Unalaskas, do their gig, uh, they're talking to Cliff, and they're mentioning, it's like, hey, man, like, you think he's getting laid? Um, it's like, I don't know, like, mm, I don't think so. So... Like, people are kind of, like, the guys are placing their bets, and so they're like, well, hey, how about we go on and, like, we try to make sure that he's going on and he's getting laid. And they're like, well, how do we do that? It's like, well, how about we just perform, like, the Turkish cock block? And it's like, well, how do you go on and do that? So, the guys make their way to Derek's room and they decide that they're just going to bum rush the room and see if he's getting laid or not. So they're like, oh my god, like this is so rude. And it's like, well, hey, yeah, but but we'll finally know. So we go on to have the guys bum rush into this place and come to find out Derek is in his bed knocked out. And so the guys end up seeing blood on Derek's body, and so they try to wake him up. So Derek has wounds, like, over his eye and over his arm. And so they're like, well, hey, man, like, do you want to go to the hospital? Like, it feels like you're pretty banged up. And Derek is like, no, I don't want to go to any hospital because, of course, like, Derek is kind of worried that if he goes on to any hospital they'll say that there's something wrong with him and they'll keep him there and then he'll die without seeing more sights and so we go on and of course like everybody's just kind of consistently checking on Derek to be like are you are you really okay Derek's like I'm okay so we have the Unalaskas and Cliff and Derek who end up separating. They go their own separate ways. So we now go to uh, Vernaza, 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 Italy. So I want to say like uh, Vernaza because uh, that may no. Anyways, Italy. So, when we have Derek and Cliff who make it to Italy, we have...
have Derek, uh, as we see, making his way to their apartment. And, <coughs> excuse me, Derek seems to be very winded. And so Derek is, once he gets to his bed, he kind of falls over and he falls quick asleep. Come to find out, Cliff is now very upset with Derek because he has now slept for three days. And so Cliff is telling Derek that he has slept for long enough and they need to go on and do some sightseeing. So Der Derek is pushed by Cliff to go to this restaurant to eat because it seems that Derek is now hungry. It seems like his stomach is growling. So they go to this restaurant and they order this food and Derek starts eating it and all of a sudden he starts to get ill and vomits it all out. So it's like, okay, like... You haven't eaten, but yet every time you do, like, he ends up just barfing it out. So, like, okay, this is very unusual. So, like, oh, well, let's, like, try to just keep, uh, like, kind of doing this tour, and, like, we'll see what happens. So, We have Derek, who is to have Cliff tell him about this vineyard. And so Derek is to make a video about this, uh, this vineyard. And I guess it's called the Cho Wine. Uh, C-H-E-O Wines. Um, so it's, I'm assuming Cho Wines. So they go on into this vineyard. And we notice, it seems, that this guy is to have this kind of pig farm and so on and so forth. And as we have Derek all of a sudden being outside more and more, it seems that somehow... Derek is to have this skin allergy all of a sudden. And we have Derek who is rushing to Cliff saying that, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going to run uh, into this place. I desperately need water. So Cliff is going on and finding this bucket for uh, Derek. And so Derek goes inside and is dousing himself with this water. And so he's like, like, man, yeah, maybe, maybe there's something really wrong with me. So Cliff is now like assessed. It's like, okay, this is very unusual. I'm going to go on and want to really recommend Derek go to the hospital and Cliff is also even telling, uh, like, Jason, Derek's brother, that it's like, well, hey, maybe we should try to figure out a way to manipulate him to go to the hospital because it's the right thing to do. And while Cliff is to go on and talk to the camera about trying to get Derek to go to the hospital... We have Derek who overhears this, and so Derek ends up getting upset, and he ends up punching this wall, and it seems that the wall ends up buckling, and, like, he punches through it. So, they end up finding out these rocks. It's like, well, hey, like, like these rocks don't look all that... excuse me, that easy to break from this wall. So how is it that Derek was to go on and do this? So 
Cliff has Derek just kind of break another one of these pieces of rock. And so the next video we see is that Derek is to go on and with his hand break this massive stone as this test to show it's like, yeah, like I have superpowers. This is great. So we also have Derek who is to go on and chase a motorcycle as we find out Derek can now run more than 60 miles an hour. And so, like, this is pretty insane. So, the further and further they, they go on and consistently test these powers, these they test these abilities... To where we have Derek at one point who's like, well, if I have speed and I have strength, maybe I can go on and like jump really high. And so Derek is tested on this building to see if he can jump really high and come to find out Derek can jump really high and climb fairly easily onto these buildings as if he has ever gone on done this before. So we find out that this guy can seemingly do it all but eat. So the guy is the guy of course Derek's to realize that he's starting to get very hungry and so when Derek is to test his uh, jumping ability and he is to jump this unsafe distance, he then goes on to fall and he's like, okay, like, I think I'm now going to need to go to the hospital. So Derek makes his way to this hospital and we have Derek and Cliff who are to get into this argument uh, with these people in this vehicle as Cliff was kind of walking by and these people were almost to run him over. And so the guys get out of the car yelling at Cliff. And so Derek ends up coming to, Cliff to Cliff's defense and Derek ends up chucking these guys uh, to defend himself and come to find out there was another person's blood on on of course uh Derek's hand and Derek bizarrely just kind of licked it off and Cliff who had got that footage he's like wait a minute Derek had just gone on in someone's blood that wasn't his he just licked it off his hand so Cliff is to assess that now Derek, with all of these things accumulating, Derek could be a vampire. So, we're having these characters thinking like, well, like, uh, that means we gotta find blood somewhere, right? So... Derek and Cliff are to assume, like, well, hey, maybe we can just find a stray animal and uh, Derek can get blood from that and it'll work. Because they end up trying cow blood at first from this butcher and Derek tries to drink that and it doesn't work. It's like, yeah, like, it's not fresh enough. So, Derek and Cliff go back after finding a number of pets that are all to be owned by someone and they do nothing with. Derek instead rushes back off to that pig farm and is to take one of these pigs, kill the pig, and then drink out of it. And again... Derek, it seems, cannot go on and get that blood. So, Derek is now possibly assume that 
the main reasoning of all of this is that now Derek has to get human blood. And so they decide that they're going to have to go on and do something really stupid. So Derek makes his way to this blood bank and is to give them his ID. And it seems for what Derek tries to pull off seems to get the police uh, kind of to get rid of Derek. And so Derek is to run off from the blood bank and he is to tell Cliff it's like, well, yeah, like whatever we tried didn't exactly work. So Cliff and Derek are now running away like crazy and come to find out we have Cliff and we have Derek who find this ambulance. And so Derek is like, well, there has to be blood in there. So they decide to hijack this ambulance and come to find out we have a, uh, a medic who is trying to keep a person alive who is bleeding out. So Derek is to be so thirsty for blood that he is to go on and see somebody bleeding out and he ends up getting like thirsty to the point of him almost wanting to attack this ambulance driver or this this ambulance this medic in this ambulance so Derek is just start to come more feral so it seems we have Derek and Cliff who go back into his place and we have Derek more and more slipping to him being more animalistic and we even have at one point where Cliff is to wake up in the middle of the night at one point and have Derek kind of uh like a foot away from Cliff's bed, just being tempted by Cliff's blood. So Cliff decides that he's going to go on and pour some blood of his into this jar and to say it's like, well, hey, like this isn't much, but it's enough to just kind of get you by. Cliff by this time is to see like that Derek had like gone through his window and kind of left to go on and get his own blood. And so by the time that Cliff is to offer him this jar, we finally have uh, Derek that goes on and kills Cliff. Ends up going on and, and killing him and then training him. And so, now we have day, or we have night 21, uh, where we have Derek, after the whole aftermath of killing Cliff, Derek is to try to justify now like what he is doing to state that cliff would have wanted uh derek to kind of keep uh this uh keep the cameras rolling after cliff was to die and so derek is to kind of keep this like this setup for him so that way he can keep on uh, doing this uh, this video this with this camera. So we have Derek who is to come to the realization that he is to need to make his way back to France to find Audrey, the girl that he was with at this bar, to 
hope that maybe Andre is to have either this cure or is to possibly figure out a way to uh, do away or do like like help Derek so and if not then Derek is going to kill Andre uh, for what she did to him so Derek is to make his way back to France and so Come to find out, Derek is now wanted for the police for what he had done in the ambulance. And so, Derek is to go on and have Interpol after him. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, we have Interpol, and we have a guy named uh, Inspector... Uh, Inspector Barbero, who is to knock on Derek's door and is to say by all the things that Derek had gone on and done that uh, they want to arrest him. And so Derek, of course, is to try and run away from the police and he ends up doing this during the day where Derek is to now be burning up from all of the sun exposure. So, it seems that Derek is to go on, and the further and further he is to run, he finally finds this little underground uh, little bridge for him to hide under. And so, now when we see Derek next, we next see him, his... Like his skin is very peeled uh, because of all the third, all the degree burns. So Derek has now mentioned that he had lost his wallet, and so Interpol is going to have everything that they need on him, uh, and who knows uh, about all the footage and so on and so forth that this guy is to have. So. We have Derek who's like, well, all I have on me is just this camera and like the, the clothes on his back. So, and supposedly he is somewhere east of, of Nice. So, we have Derek that is to at some point go on and find a place that uh, he can just have as a shelter. It seems like there is technically some running water there in that area. And so, like, uh, we just kind of have Derek who's hiding out. So, Derek is to kind of look through Cliff's old footage to find that Cliff had done one video where it seems that Audrey had lost her phone and so Derek is co of course very pleased that Cliff is to have kept this footage because Cliff uh, taped everything and so we have Derek who realizes that this is the possible in to connect to Audrey is by getting to her phone. So Derek goes to this previous hotel to look in the lost and found. He finds a phone. He's like, aha, like I got you, Audrey. Like it's only a matter of time before I get to you. So Audrey or, or Derek calls everybody on Audrey's phone and is to have them meet him at this certain address. So it seems that one guy is to go on and appear here, and that guy, of course, is to be, uh, I believe, Morris. So, we have Derek that goes on and follows this guy, and... We... 
come to find out, realize that Morris is not the nicest guy either, as when Derek is to make his way into Morris's place, come to find out there are a number of unusual saws and stuff like that in Derek's place. So, Derek, or, or Morris's place. So, Derek is to assess that this guy is some crazy lunatic guy, and so he ends up tying Morris up, and so come to find out, it seems that Morris was to be Audrey's guinea pig, and that Morris is kind of upset that Derek was to go on and get turned from all the time of which that he had gone on to uh to kind of uh like feed for her you would think that he would be finally the one who have gotten turned but you'd be wrong so we have Derek at one point again have Interpol and the police end up breaking into Maurice's place. And by this time, we of course have Derek, who is to start to be very hungry, as well as him getting riddled with bullets. So Derek is to go wild and is to start to uh like slice in two men and kill them and train them and that's the focus. Maurice is to be terrified at some point by what he ends up seeing from the horror of it all. And so Derek does not go on and kill Maurice. But so Derek at some point uh, is to have the main focus of trying to go on and find Audrey again. And so when Audrey and Derek finally do meet... We then have Audrey, who is to tell Derek the main reason why she went on to kill Derek is because she thought since he was sick that he was that she was doing him a favor, and I guess that wouldn't be the case. So we have Derek, who of course is asking uh, Audrey here if there's a cure. Or if she uh, had figured something out. And Audrey's like, well, you know, if I would have gone on and if I would have figured out some cure, like, wouldn't you think that I would have gone on and put that on myself? And so Derek's like, well, that would make a lot of sense. So we have it at one point where we've had... Derek that is trying to kill himself. Derek at one point is to take a double barrel shotgun to the face and pull the trigger. And it seems that all this did was reheal Derek's wound. But we can kind of see the damage on the back of his head. So we have Audrey that tries after fighting... Derek, she then takes a wooden stake to possibly Derek's heart and stabs into him and nothing really happens. She stabs him on like this side and we of course just have Derek that pulls it out as he demanded Audrey to just kill him and so... It seems that these characters could not go on and figure out how to kill one another. So, we also had Derek who was trying to test, uh, like, the, the, the light sensitivity, the sun sensitivity on his hand. And he realizes that he, like, takes away, like, this big burn. So... Derek is to go on and say uh, by the end of this, because Audrey is to give Derek this idea 
about he needs to go on and feed every four to five days or otherwise like because Derek is trying to been holding out for like 10 days and Audrey's like yeah you can't do that like you should be eating every four to five days so come to find out Derek is to go on and send this last message to his family and we even had uh Jason at one point who was to show up where Derek is and try to convince him to like hey man like stop what you're doing like I uh, had the police turn you in and we had the chase uh, of the police and we had one policeman who was to accidentally fall. Derek was to trying to grab onto him and try to uh, keep hold and the guy ends up falling to his death and the police end up shooting Derek thinking like, oh, like he killed this guy. He dropped him, which wasn't the case. So... But anyways, we have Derek by the end of this movie, who is to, again, he is to give this last bit of video to his family and state that, like, well, he does not want to go on and really have his family see what he does. Because it seems Derek is to go after certain men who are to like take advantage of younger women and it seems Derek is to find video proof of that to take down this guy and feed on him and kill him off and so we end up finding out that Derek is to kind of take the Dexter approach of stuff where he of course to go on and find bad people and then feed on them because they are bad people and try to like go on and and possibly save his uh his save him um from kind of uh killing nice people or killing innocent people so with that said, I think I'm just going to go on and call this one a review. I'm, I apologize for how many times I yawned here. Uh, it's very late in the day. Um, hopefully I didn't go on and forget too much about this film. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's anything I did forget about. But uh, also with that said, I think I'm just going to go on and just get out of here. Let me know in the comments below how you felt about uh, this movie. If you want on to watch it, if you thought it was good, if you thought it was bad so on and so forth. I'm just going to go on and get out of here. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.